our sheep Harriet and Marta aren't only lovable, gentle and sociable companions, they also produce milk for us. They are crosses between Texel, Suffolk and East Frisian milk sheep. For a sheep in order to produce milk they need to have lambs. So we also keep a ram. This is Frascati. He's a purebred Frisian sheep. I often think he surely is big enough to join me in my riding sessions, but then he likes to bang his head a lot into things, so maybe not. After mating, sheep are pregnant for five months. When the lambs are born, we leave them with their mums for the first four weeks of their lives and they get to drink all the milk they want and when they want to. That sets them up for growing into strong, healthy youngsters. At week four, I start separating the lambs from their mothers for the night. They are strong enough then to last without milk for that sort of time. But I always make sure they have plenty of hay and water. On the first night they get separated, the lambs of course don't suspect anything and they are fairly quiet with surprise and puzzlement. You've been there before, it's Harry. Marta's first year with the lamb, so she isn't sure either what's going on. Harriet knows better from previous years. In the morning, the lambs long sussed out that they'd rather not be separated from their milk source for that length of time. And they shout this message loud and clear into the world. And Harriet and Marta just want the pressure to go from their full udders. But before they get reunited, I milk the yos. I take about three quarter of what's in their udders to leave some for the hungry lambs. Guys. The lambs are only too happy when the gate opens, but there's no time for much niceties and they get straight down to the business of prodding their mum's udders to get the milk to flow faster. Suddenly everything goes much quieter. Ah. During the day, everyone goes out to eat green grass. And the lambs can also drink as much milk as they like all day. And in the evening, we all come in again for the nighttime routine of separation. I keep this routine up for a month or so and the lambs keep on growing and growing. The lambs eat as much solid food as they drink milk now and they spend considerable time, just like their mums, chewing the cud. That means they bring food back up from their stomachs into their mouths and chew it a second time. This is necessary for any sheep's digestion. When the lambs are two months old, I gradually expand on their time away from their mums. Eat the flowers, Marta. That means separating them from Marta and Harriet for some time during the day. As you can imagine, this is met with some complaining at first from both sides. But as the lambs grow up more, they don't need so much milk anyways and they get more and more content just nibbling grass all day. One, two, three, four. Then the big day comes. The lambs are three months old now and they leave their mums for good.
completely wrong way now, lad. Completely wrong. Uh, yeah. No, nope. uh, eating the potatoes. Come on. Uh, lovely and warm. Yeah, if you run in there, you'd be fine. But uh, okay. <laughs> They join their dad now for the next three months to finish them. This is a big step in both the yo's and the lamb's lives. And the first few days everyone is in a bit of a heap. But very soon the lambs are content with their new situation. Their dad, Frascati, is there to reassure them somewhat. The yos are making new companions too. This is Trudy. She'll play with anyone. The lamb is gone now. Milking every day is a must to avoid mastitis in the yos. Come September, the milk consistency slowly changes. The milk gets really creamy now and the yield decreases as the days get shorter. Now, Harriet. <laughs> oh, Harriet. Harriet likes her face rubs. But I'm busy milking. I milk into October and then over a week or so I reduce the amount I milk out of the yos to get the yos to stop producing milk. It is good to give them a break before they join the ram in November. So, um, we're well into autumn, October, and um, look, we're still getting loads and loads of milk of those, of those two sheep, just milking one today. So that's um, brilliant. Thank you. Thank you, Harriet. The ram Frascati is still happy out with his lambs. They get some oats and pellets now once a day to make up for the decreasing nutrition in the autumnal grass. The lambs will go to the butcher in another six weeks or so. Breeding season for sheep can start as early as the end of August and especially Harriet is getting into quite an affectionate mood lately as her hormones kick in. I usually get my yos mated early November. So no worries, Harriet. Soon you'll join Frascati and the cycle will start again. <laughs>